we're going to make a recipe from Mary Ethel Crofton's 1895 cookbook that was used at Fort Sheridan. And the recipe we're going to use is for soft ginger cookies. Since this cookbook does not provide as many details or instructions as recipes do today, for some of the ingredients and measurements, we're going to have to make educated guesses based on similar recipes. The recipe begins by stating cream two cups of brown sugar with one cup of butter. Now that we have the brown sugar mixed with the butter, the next step it says is to add in beaten eggs. Now she does not specify how many eggs, so I used my grandmother's recipe to try to estimate how many and decided to go with two. I'm going to beat them in the dish and then we'll add them into the brown sugar. Next she lists a half cup of milk and two cups of molasses. But before we add those, two teaspoons of what I can only guess is the word water will be beaten into the molasses. Now since this cookbook is written, handwritten, some of the words are harder to read than others. Now we'll add in the two cups of molasses. Smells really good. And the half cup of milk. Ginger. Which I pre-measured out. And it says to beat well for 10 minutes. Okay, so now that we've worked up quite an arm muscle and mixed our ingredients well for 10 minutes, we're going to then add flour enough to make a light dough. So since she doesn't give specific amounts for the flour, I'm going to add it a cup at a time and see how it looks as we go. I'm also going to rely on my great grandmother's recipe again for molasses cookies and she requests three and a half cups of flour. So we'll try to estimate somewhere in that zone. Here's our finished dough. I ended up adding about four and a half cups of flour to the mixture to make this much thicker, as you can see. And now it's time to add them to the cookie sheet. However, Mary's instructions end with adding the flour. So the rest we will be figuring out a little bit as we go. We're gonna take a tablespoon of the batter at a time and add it to our cookie sheet. Now we have our cookies and they're ready to go into the oven. For the cooking time, I'm going to rely more on my great grandma's molasses cookies recipe and we're gonna put them in the oven at 350 for about eight minutes. Well, based on the initial taste test, I think we did pretty well with our recipe. They taste delicious, and my kitchen smells amazing right now. Thanks for joining us, and if you'd like to um, try out this recipe yourself, please feel free to share with us how your cookies turn out, and keep an eye out for more posts upcoming in this series. Thanks. Mm -hmm.